873, X-ray, I to George, Sue Washington, Valley and Hillside. Hello? Hi, Hello. I'm Officer McNanny, Pullman Police Department. I just stopped you because you don't have any taillights functioning right now. I have uh, no taillights? No, nope, it's completely dark back there, so... Oh, shit. Yeah. Awesome. Just need to check license registration proof of insurance for you real quick. Yeah, there's my registration. I actually just got registered by insurance because I just bought this car just two weeks ago. Okay. I'll, um... I'm pretty sure it's at your guys' house. Okay, that's the manual. Really? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm. I just signed up for insurance recently and. Uh, okay. Give your uh, driver's yeah, license with you? I do, yes. Sir. Okay. And I got it through my mom. Okay. But uh, other than that, I don't have too much information on it. But um, I can't really let it. No, I uh, definitely do. Oh, there's my Washington and Cali, but... Uh, okay. Mm, so do you still live at... Uh, 1920. H114? Yes, sir. Okay. Can I get a current phone number for you real quick? 559-283-9861. 559-283-9861. Okay. How much you had to drink tonight? Uh, I had a beer like four hours ago. Oh, okay. So you're just good to drive? Yes, sir. Okay. Might have to take a look at your eyes real quick, make sure you're okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you turn your shoulders and face towards me as best you can? Stay in the car. Um, all I have you do is just follow the tip of my pen right there with your eyes and your eyes only while keeping your head still, okay? Yes, sir. Still see the pin out there? Yes, sir. Okay. Let me run back and check on, on uh, all this real quick. I'll be right back with you, okay? You got it, man. Pullman 462, driver. Go ahead. Last of all, Solly, Edward Lincoln, Sam, Adam Lincoln, Henry Ida, first of Kyle, middle in Nora, 0214, <coughs> white male, Washington. Copy. 124. He's been drinking, so I'm going to see if I'll do some fields okay. real quick. Can I talk to you back here for a minute? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll head here on the sidewalk.
log. Um, I'm sure you're all scraped up. Are you okay? Yeah, I um, I fell tonight and um, doesn't feel that great, but okay, I'm all right. Okay, how did you fall? Uh, trying to help a buddy out tonight, and um, he was just too, too drunk, and uh, I don't know. I, okay. I hadn't seen the guy in like a year and a half. Okay. Um, so where I'm at right now, based on the smell inside the car and everything that's going on, I want to make sure you're okay to drive. Yeah. Um, you said you're, you don't feel like you're impaired or anything like that. Um, sure. So that being said, would you be willing to perform some voluntary field sobriety tests so I can make sure you're okay? Of course, not. Okay. Um, so the first thing I'll have you do, let's face this way so you don't have the lights in your eyes. All right. Can you turn those off for me? I'll go ahead and stand right here. Right, right up here. Yep, right there, okay. Um, I'm going to explain a couple different tests to you. Um, I'll explain the tests in detail and I'll also demonstrate them. Um, I don't want to begin any of the tests before I'm uh, finished explaining them to you. Sure. Um, if you have any questions on any of the tests or demonstrations, please ask, okay? I'll rate you uh, not only on your performance on the test, but also on how well you follow my instructions. So, again, ask questions if you have any issues, okay? Um, so what we'll do first, if you can stand with your heels and toes together and arms down at your side, and stand just like that until I instruct you to do otherwise, okay? Understand that so far? Yes, I'm going to take a look at your eyes again. Um, and can you, are you able to take your glasses off? Can you see okay um, without those? No, sir. Okay. I'm not comfortable with taking off my glasses. Okay. So uh, what I'll have you do, okay? I'm going to have you follow the tip of my pen right there with your eyes and your eyes only while keeping your head still, okay? Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. you're keeping your head still there, okay? Don't move your head with the pin. I'm sorry. Sir. It's alright. It's gone a little bit off the range of my glass, so... Okay. Still see the pin out there? Yes, sir. I'll probably read you the uh, number on it, Vic. Vic step. Keep looking at the pen, all right? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to go up this time, okay? Yes, sir. You still see it up there? I, I absolutely do see it, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, so the next thing I'm going to have you do is called the nine-step walk and turn. Um, and again, I'll explain the test and demonstrate it. Uh, don't begin the test until I'm done uh, explaining the test to you, okay? Yes, um, so first of all, what I'm going to have you do is imagine a straight line out in front of you. Uh -huh. And if you want to get into the starting position, place your left foot on the imaginary line in front of you. Go ahead and do that. If I so, want to. What's that? So, uh, nine step walk and turn. Correct. Yeah, so I'm going to have you get into the starting position, though, before I demonstrate the test, okay? Right. So if you can imagine a straight line out in front of you, I go ahead do. and place your left foot on that line. And then place your right foot on that line in front of your left foot, touching heel to toe. Do you want to tie your shoe? I do. Actually. Okay. Okay. So again, just imagine the straight line out in front of you, and I left do. foot on the line, right foot in front of your left foot, touching heel to toe on that line. And then I'll have you keep your hands down at your sides, out of your pockets, just right down at your sides, and stay in that position until I ask you to begin the test. Um, when I do ask you to begin, you're going to take a series of nine steps forward down the line, touching heel to toe, and you're going to turn around and take nine heel to toe steps back down the line. Okay. okay. Um, you're going to count each step out loud, and you're going to watch your feet the entire time while keeping your hands at your sides. Okay, so I'll demonstrate it for you. Okay, so it's going to look like this, all right? So it'll be one, sure. two, three. I'm just going to go to three. You'll go to nine, okay? When you get to your yeah. ninth step, leave your front foot where it is. Take a when series. I, when I'm at nine. When you're at nine, yep. Leave your front foot planted. Take a series of small steps with the other foot turning around so you face the opposite direction. And take nine heel-to-toe steps back. One, two, three. 
one for the nine. Okay. Um, again, your hands are at your, si at your side the entire time, and you're looking at your feet, counting each step out loud. Okay. The first step you take from the starting position will be counted as step number one, um, and it's a continuous test, so don't stop or pause at any point. Okay. Just okay. go all the way through. Uh, do you have any questions on the test? Uh, no, sir. Uh, okay. Should I get started like this, or? Nope. Back in the starting position, so left foot and right foot in front of your left foot. Remember. Okay. And hands down at your sides. Okay. And you understand the test? Yes, sir. Okay, you can begin whenever you're ready. All right. Okay. All right, so the next test I'm going to have you do is called the uh, one-leg stand, okay? So if you want to come back up here where it's a little flatter, okay? Okay. And what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and stand with your heels and toes together, arms at, out of your pockets and at your sides, okay? And stay just like that until I ask you to begin the test, okay? Do you understand so far? Yes, sir. Okay. So when I ask you to begin, you're going to lift the leg of your choice approximately six inches off the ground, okay? So it'll look like this. You're going to count out loud. Don't start yet. So you lift the leg of your choice approximately six inches off the ground, and you'll count out loud by one thousands until I ask you to stop. It would be one thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, so on until I tell you to stop. Okay? Yes, your toes going to be pointed straight out. Okay? So the bottom of your foot's parallel with the ground. Arms at your sides, and your legs are straight. Okay? Yes, sir. If you happen to put your foot down at any time during the test, that's fine. Just pick it back up, continue from where you left off. Thousand four, thousand five, so on. Okay? Yes, so make sure you look at your raised foot. Keep your arms at your sides the entire time. Um, you know, count out loud by 1,000s until I tell you to stop, okay? Yes, sir. Do you have any questions? Uh, how long will I be counting for? Uh, it'll be 30 seconds. I'll tell you when to stop, though, so you don't have to worry about that. I'll time it, so, and I'll tell you All right. when to stop after you, after you start it, okay? Yes, sir. Any other questions? Uh, no, sir. Do you understand the test? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know which foot you're going to lift? I do. Which one? It's going to be on my right foot, probably. Right foot? Okay. Yeah. You can start whenever you're ready. You can get your legs straight and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you can stop. Okay. Um, the next test I'll ask you to do is uh, the portable breath test. Are you familiar with that? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Um, it's a voluntary test. It doesn't take the place of an evidentiary breath test, so I ask you to take that at a later time. Right. I'm um, just going to kind of tell me where you're at right now. Have I you had anything to eat or drink in the last 15 minutes? I have had uh, a drink in the last 15 minutes. Like a I, drink? Like, like I told you, but um, okay. I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't feel like I want to take that test. Okay. So. That's fine. Um, how, much did you have to do, how much did you have to drink tonight? I had a beer four hours ago and then one since then. And, uh, okay. the guy has been 21 like two weeks ago, so I was, I was just trying to drive him around, but other than that, okay. that's, that's it. Okay. All right. Back. Well, right now I'm going to place you under arrest for driving under the influence. Yes, you want to put your hands behind your back? Yes, sir. You do have the right to remain silent. Yes, sir. Any statements you make can and will be used as evidence against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You can afford an attorney. You have the right to have one appointed for you by a court without cost to you. And you can exercise your rights at any time. Yes, sir. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir. Okay. You're also being audio recorded, okay? Yes, sir. Hold on, okay. Okay, so the... Okay. okay. Come on down here. Yep, we'll deal with that in just a second, all right? Do you have anything in your pockets I need to know about? I have a cell phone, a pack of cigarettes, and a lighter. Okay, can you step back to the back of the car here? We'll just... Yes, I just got to check, make sure you, you yeah. don't have any weapons or anything like that. Uh, it's pretty feet apart. Before. Okay. And, uh, should be in lighter...
found me guilty of uh, drunk driving, or...? You're under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol right okay. now, yes. Okay, so all I got was the uh, cigarette, so I'm guessing your phone, like you said earlier, is lost or at your friend's house, and... Yes, sir. Did you want your wallet or anything else out of the car? Uh, I'm not sure where it is right now. Okay. I'm pretty sure I might have left that at the last party I was at. Your wallet? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, I mean, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and step up here. I'll have you have a seat in the back of the car. Yes, sir. Watch your head while you get in. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nice. Get the lap on yeah. Put that back in your pocket, all right? All right. It's empty anyway, but I'll let you hold on to it. Pullman 462. I'm sorry. What's going to happen with the gentleman inside the car right now? Uh, they'll be free to go. All right. I'll be in right at the station with one for the test. Oh, not too bad. Two two seven. I'll be clearing. Close no report. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, uh, it's it's been kind of slow. Probably a good thing you've never done it before. I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, it means The parking lights, your tail lights. Okay. Yeah, it was all all dark. Or he didn't say he said it's on. He's on his way. One thirty eight. What's that? No, I just saw you drive by me and. I saw you drive by and there, you, none of your uh, parking lights were working. Your tail lights, yep. So they're supposed to be illuminated red? Yeah. Uh, we're taking you to the Pullman Police Department. Correct. 
Okay, the tail lights were not functioning, that's right. Officer McNanny? Mc, McNanny? Yes. Okay. Officer McNanny. That sounds great. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm, I'm sorry for <laughs> really bad. Yeah, there's not the best circumstances, that's for sure. I am. I'm, I'm absolutely sorry for that. But the, the, uh, the other Pullman, 462, I'm at the station. What was uh, his name? Uh, Sergeant Dornis. Okay, go ahead and come on out. Face right up against the wall right over here for a second. Okay, and I'll have you come over here. And you can walk right through there. See the uh, black X on the ground? Go ahead and stand on that and just face the wall to your right, and I'll get the next door open for you. Is this because that might be a really serious felon? No, that's just because I can, can't get the door open past you if you don't do that. So if you want to head up to where the brown chair is, you can just stand right behind the brown chair and I can get the handcuffs off you. Okay, you can stand back up. i got to get the handcuffs off, all right? Crash out of there. And, yep. Uh, might, might be a lighter, lighter but other than that, I feel like it might be. Yeah, I didn't find the lighter earlier. I don't think you have it with you. Okay. Go ahead and release your right hand when I do. Just place it straight ahead out in front of you, alright? Yes, sir. Go ahead and have a seat right behind you. So we got to go through an administrative process here. Um, we'll go through quite a bit of paperwork. Uh, first thing I have to do is check your mouth. So um, over the next 15 minutes, I can't have you put your hands up in your mouth. Um, you can't have any foreign substances or materials, and you can't play with it. So I'm pretty good with not putting my hands in my mouth. So yeah, as long as you're not doing that, um, it's we're, fine. We're some people, that right now. yeah, some oh, people yeah. will do it and have to put them back in handcuffs. I don't think you'd, that that'll be the case, but I'll tell you anyways. Um, and can you open up your mouth for me? Do you have any foreign substances, materials in there? No, sir. Nothing. Okay, you got to open it up. I got to take a look real quick. Okay, in under the tongue. Okay, and again for just the next 15 minutes, make sure you don't put your hands up near your mouth. We'll be set. Okay, so this is the packet we got to go through. Um, I grabbed uh, two of them. You're welcome to follow along if you want. You don't have to. I'll read it out loud, um, all of it, pretty much word for word. Uh, the sections we go through anyways. So. I will probably try to uh, go ahead. follow along. D 
you, there's a phone and a wallet in the car. Do you want those? Because the car is going to be impounded. Do you want Sergeant Dornis to grab those for you? We can, uh, he can bring them back here. So when you release, you have it. Would be really nice to have, actually. I have his driver's license, and you can grab the phone and the wallet for him as well. Alright. Okay. Um, so we're going to start actually on the next page here. So if you want to flip to the next one. Yep, so this is Washington State DUI arrest report case slash citation number is 13-P04985. I'm going to check the box that says on the date, time, and location of this arrest, I had authority to arrest pursuant to my agency's jurisdiction or RCW 10.93. Constitutional rights. One, you have the right to remain silent. Two, you have the right to, at this time to an attorney. Go ahead. Copy. Thank you. Okay. Uh, three, anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. Four, if you're under the age of 18, anything you say can be used against you in a juvenile court prosecution for a juvenile offense can also be used against you in an adult court criminal prosecution if the juvenile court decides that you are to be tried as an adult. Five, you have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. Six, you have the right to have an attorney present during the questioning. Seven, if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. Eight, you can exercise these rights at any time. Nine, nine do you understand these rights? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Um, so this says, I have read or have had read to me the above explanation of my constitutional rights and I understand these rights. Uh, if you agree to that, I just need your signature on that line right there. Negative. I thought he put them in the center console, but the passenger may have taken them. Okay, so next line says, I understand my constitutional rights. I have decided not to exercise these rights at this time. Any statements made by me are made freely, voluntarily, and without threats or promises of any kind. Um, and if you agree to that, I your signature that right there. Will you also sign that, that uh, officer signature? Yep, I'll sign it, and I'll put the date, time, and location on the one right below. Okay, so if you want to flip to the next page there and follow along, you're welcome to do that. I'm ready. Okay, it's so Washington State UI arrest report. Case slash citation number is 13-P04985. Implied consent warning for breath. Warning, you're under arrest for check appropriate box, which is the top one. It's RCW 46.61.502 or RCW 46.61.504, driving or being in actual physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. Yes, sir. Further, you are now being asked to submit to a test of your breath, which consists of two separate samples of your breath taken independently to determine alcohol concentration. The other two don't apply to me? Oh, yeah, being under 21 years of age. Right, so, yeah, we're down on this section. Okay. 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 One, you are now advised that you have the right to refuse this breath test and that if you refuse, A, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be revoked or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least one year, and B, your refusal to submit to this test may be used in a criminal trial. Two, you are further advised that if you submit to this breath test and the test is administered, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be suspended, revoked, or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least 90 days. If you are, A, age 21 or over, and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0.08 or more, or you are in violation of RCW 46.61.502, driving under the influence, or 